good thing is it's not long been emptied so that is the good thing but this isn't the first time I've had to do this on this trip <laughs> Join us this week as we leave Scandinavia behind, ready to see what van life in Germany has to offer us. And keep watching as I find myself doing something I really don't want to be doing. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. What country are we in? Norway. Not Norway. We're in, I'll tell you, Denmark. Denmark. <laughs> yeah, we're in Denmark. We're in Denmark. Happy first day of school, Pip. Yes. What, what year are you in now? Two. You're two? I'm you. I'm year one. Year one, awesome. Piper, first day of school, year two, and we're going on a school trip. Where are we going, Pip? To a Viking museum. Viking museum today, so that should be fun. Excited? Yeah. I'm drinking the drink. Drinking a drink. Are you excited for the museum? Yeah. Yeah? I'm going inside the museum. That's good. Right, so here's our finished product. Where's the water? Okay, come on in, guys. Come on, Ted. Right, then stand on the rocks. Stand on the rock. Oh, wait there. This is too shallow for me boat. Oh, no. Okay, so what's the bettings then? Come on, we have to have a wager. Yeah. Who thinks it's going to float? Put your hands up if it's going to float. Okay. Ted, did you think it's going to work? Okay. It is an epic boom flop. <laughs> it's just absolutely flop. There we are. So, so this boat that you might be able to see behind me, right here, was actually built in Sognefjord in Norway, which is the place where we saw the porpoise. If you've been watching our Norway videos, the place which we saw them uh, swimming in the fjord, Sognefjord. Um, these boats were found in the fjord just here. I'll put the name up on the screen because I've forgotten that one. They were found here and it took them 25 years to actually recover them, reconstruct them and put them on display in this museum. So it's absolutely incredible. They actually um, they put up, a, I think it's a steel sort of fence in the middle of the fjord to a sort of barrier and siphoned all the water out so that they could recover these boats. Made a little island basically. We just watched a film on it and now we're actually seeing these, these Viking boats but it's just, yeah quite incredible but the amount of time and effort and money that must have gone into getting these boats to have fully recovered and on display is insane. Weren't sure when we woke up this morning whether we were going to spend another night in Denmark or to head straight over to Germany on the ferry but Piper's been like let's get to Germany so she's she's called this one today uh, just booked the ferry tickets they cost about I think it was 78 euros well we got an hour and a half drive to the ferry terminal uh, yep an hour and uh, an hour and 36 to the ferry terminal and That's then what was it 40 minute crossing it's a 45 minute crossing and yeah then and then we'll be in Germany an hour and 15 minutes I think to our park up destination yeah where's our park up can you remember I don't know what's happening with this um our park up is in Ren Renfeld 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 somewhere like that yeah cool all right let's hit the road hit the road Jack after a short crossing and an expensive lunch we arrived in Germany but will our quest for better weather end up paying off 
first Lidl of Germany and we need to try not to go wild really. <laughs> the prices should be way more reasonable and there's a few things that we've really missed while we've been in Scandinavia so looking forward to this shop. Yeah, like food. <laughs> Raspberries and strawberries. Blueberries. Blueberries. We can't get all the fruit, Pip. What you got, Pip? Raspberries. Oh, nice. You've missed your raspberries, haven't you? Yeah. Hey, Dad. What do you want? Paprika? Paprika? Or paprika? Nah. How? I'm not feeling like getting crisps Stop this week. Having. Really? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Oh, that's half price, 174. What's that? That's like £1.50. What is it? You get six of these for 239. It's about six for like two quid. Or 40. What's that? It must be like 35, 35 yeah, pence yeah. each. You have to pay your, your pet thing, which is your recycling thing on it. But. Right, I need to get this off my chest because my head is absolutely pounding back in germany and we did the food shop yesterday bought some alcohol so i'm just not <laughs> teddy i'm not feeling great today to be honest um yeah we, we we're not big drinkers so it doesn't take much and like i think i had two two rum and coke cans of rum and coke and they're like they were 10 percent in all fairness so they weren't like tiny amounts of alcohol but we, yeah we had a nice night but we are feeling it a bit today it's been a slow morning so we're in Hitzaka, that's where we are now. The weather's not looking great. We're, we're hearing thunder, aren't we? We're uh -huh. hearing like big roars of thunder. I'll show you in a minute. It's just coming from that way over there. I'll show you what it's what the sky's looking like, but it's not sounding good. So we're thinking we're probably gonna turn turn the van round or get the pop top down, but we do need to go and fill up with water first um, and maybe just, just move spot before the storm sets in. Everyone listen, because there'll be thunder in a minute. Oh! Yeah. Right, so it's day three at Hitzaka for us today. We've had a lot of storms and we've just had another like heavy downpour of rain, but it's stopped now, it's brightened up, it's warmed up again. Uh, so we're gonna actually finally have a proper sort of look in the actual town. And then there's a play park and we also know there's a skate park. So Jack's got his scooter. I think he's going to enjoy doing that. So yeah, finally came to Germany for like the warmer, better weather. And so far it's not been great. <laughs> Right, so we've found our park up for the night. It does look like we're gonna be the only ones here, although there is still time. It's still only like three o'clock, so uh, there's a chance we might be joined, but we do recognize this place from last time we traveled. So we're wondering if it's the same place. We think it might be, but what we didn't know last time that we do know now is that there is a tier park just across the road, like literally just across the road, um, which is basically just animals, like a mini zoo, basically. I can't help think that these bars are a little bit too heavy duty for <laughs> that. Let go. Would you, unless there's a T Rex in there or something. I reckon, that's yeah, like, that's what it that's is. That's its dinner. There's a lion in there you haven't spotted yet. I, <laughs> I see a little <laughs> Unless maybe, maybe something else used to be in here. Maybe. I reckon it did, you know, because they're, they're, that's a, oh. That is very heavy duty, isn't it? It's very that's heavy new. duty. What is that? Oh. All these big cages. There are lots of guys. Barrier, stop you going near it. Yeah, yeah. So I that's true. That, used to be which was that, that is true, actually. Right, so I couldn't help myself. Sort of the curiosity seeing this big, well, relatively small cage, but big bars, like quite a strong, strong cage. Um, the curiosity got the better of us. I went back to the van earlier. I had to Google what, what used to live here. Mom? Our guess was that it could have been. What did we guess? Mom? We guess like. 
tiger or monkeys and it was actually two brown bears that used to live in this bit behind me um they are actually now at a, a bear sanctuary which is nice nice that they've got a much bigger area than this i don't think we'd have liked it if we'd have seen the bears now just in this small sort of enclosure okay so jack's just come out of the toilet and he has a habit of playing with things in the toilet that sounds uh, really funny <laughs> okay that sounded wrong we'll go again uh, uh, so Jack was just in the toilet and he touches all of the toiletries whilst he's in there and he's just come out and gone, I've done something really wrong. <laughs> and he was playing with Kira's deodorant and the plastic cap has dropped down the toilet. Now, I'm not getting that. My hands are far too big. Good excuse. But uh, someone here... I've got to put my hand down that toilet. Now the good thing is, it's not long been emptied, so that is the good thing. But this isn't the first time I've had to do this on this trip. What did you do? What? Uh, then they're down the toilet. Yeah. Oh. He has to now get it out. Well, a lot of the time you want van life reality, and that is reality. So we'll leave it there for this week's video guys. As always, thank you for watching. If you aren't yet subscribed to our channel, go click subscribe and also make sure you turn on notifications to keep following our journey. We'll see you next week for some more surprises as we continue van life in Germany.